Warning! This content contains explicit material intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, you're back for more. Alright, then you're in for a treat. As you probably already figured, I fish in Western Europe. And you might watch this video from a total different part in the world, so I'm not surprised if you do not have experience with these big ass fuckers. If I say jerkbait, you might have a different lure in mind. But these are gliders. They might not look that awesome, but don't let the design fool you. These glider jerkbaits will kick your ass so fucking hard that your balls orbit Uranus. Europeans use these glider jerkbaits mainly for pike and they are very effective in the shallows and colder water temperatures. You can fish them as slow as a sloth taking a shit. I'm not quite sure if these gliders are used in different continents other than Europe. If not, dude, you've got to try these. I want to bet that bass and even muskie would love to bite in these as well. There are so many kinds of gliders, it's fucking insane. So I took the liberty to choose two different glider baits and let them compete to each other. In this bait versus bait video is the twitching rep from Rapala versus another awesome looking jerk bait called the Zilla Glider from Berkeley. They seem both awesome for sure. But which one will be crowned as my personal favorite? Let's stop jerking around and let's get started. Finding a good fishing lure is like finding the perfect cat litter. You know, the ideal texture, the right particle size, the right herbal attractant, just so that the cat can come in and say wow. This is the perfect place to pitch and shit. Striving to perfection is one thing, after all, Rapala did it for decades. And they really did one hell of a job. If it comes to fishing lures, Berkeley is one of those brands I do not have much experiences with. Their hardware products are fine, I guess, but I can honestly say that I never ever used one of the lures before. Is it the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? or? Are they nothing but a plastic bag filled to the brim with cat vomit? Let's take a closer look at the Rapala Twitch and Wrap first. At first glance, the thing that stands out is the paint job. Wait, it's not a paint job at all, it's a print job. Oh come on man, I'm a big fan of beautiful real paint jobs and Rapala blows it by using some sort of a printing technique. Now it's a blow job. It's all good though, because the um, <coughs> prints look amazing. Another thing that looks a bit excessive are the oversized treble hooks they've used for this glider. The twitching wrap is not that big, but look at them. They're huge. Isn't this a bit of an exaggeration? Or at least excessive? Come on man, it's like trying to kill a fucking housefly with an atom bomb. The lure however feels and looks like it's made from quality components. There is one thing that is missing though. It doesn't have an inbuilt rattle system. That thing is solid as a rock. Like an erect dick. Oh no 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 no, I'm not getting there. The twitching wrap is a classic glider without the bullshit and I cannot wait to catch some pike on these. The Rapala twitching wrap seems to be a serious competitor in the glider jerkbait department. But lately, I get positive news about this big fucker called the Zilla glider from Berkeley. The looks are totally different, but don't be fooled by it because it's still a glider jerkbait. So the action is supposed to be the same. Glider jerkbaits are very popular among the pike fishermen in Europe. And for good reason. If you do not have any experience with these, just let me explain how these crazy things work. By twitching these fuckers, the glider will move from left to right when you reel these in slowly. Predators will be distracted by its weird movement. I mean, wouldn't you be distracted when you see an extremely hot buck naked girl acting like a monkey on speed while making chicken noises? Of course you do. Especially pike will attack these annoying glider things extremely fast. Even in colder water temperatures. The technique is not that hard and these lures are very very effective. I've been disappointed a lot of times when a lure is supposed to be any good. And a lot of them appear to be a total disaster. You know, you've heard positive stories about some of them. And just because of those stories, you end up in a tackle shop buying that fucking thing for 20 bucks. After an hour of fishing with it, you might think, fuck, 
Is this lure worth its money? I've paid 20 bucks for this piece of shit. I might as well should have lit that money on fire and pissed on it. Basically, I am in such situation right now. Look at these, man. They're gorgeous. Is the silly glider really a gem? Or is it nothing but a beautiful plastic shell filled with buffalo diarrhea? Am I going to praise these? Or am I going to burn these and send them straight to hell? Let's find out. Well, there is nothing to complain so far. The action is nothing special, but it's effective. I'm jerking this heavy thing like a maniac. And eventually, the result is very satisfying. This pike just couldn't resist. And man, this pike is barely hooked. All I can think of is how to reel this fucker in fast without losing it. Unfortunately, my chest cam batteries ran out. It's a good thing that I have my cell phone on me. Because not much later, another pike just attacked out of nowhere. <laughs> It's a big one. That thing is huge. Holy crap. Look at the size of the damn thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is this is serious dude. Holy crap. It's beautiful. And it's heavy. It's eating a lot. Well, let's put it back where it belongs. There you go, buddy. Man, you swallowed the fucking hook, man. Holy crap. Oh, I got it. Voila. I got it. It's a tiny little snug rocket, but you know, still, it's a result. And I'm happy with it. All right, thank you for showing up, buddy. See you later. Oh man, this is a lovely day. Nice. The Zilla glider also comes in a small version. My fishing buddy is using them and man, these are serious pike magnets. The small version is perfect for smaller predators. It might be a good one for bass as well. The retrieving technique is pretty much the same and they are perfect for more finesse techniques. Okay, this big ass motherfucker works really, really well so far, but let's talk about rattles. Some people believe it's a good thing while some others find it bullshit. It's like the never ending discussion if, I don't know, anchovy some pizza is any good. I think it's disgusting and turns the pizza into a damping fresh stinking turd on the plate, but that's another thing. Rattles are made to generate vibrations. 
Now you might expect some sort of a vibrator joke, but I'm not getting there because this is high class internet content. Anyway, most predatory fish will go apeshit on rattles because they affect their highly developed sideline system. Pike adds a bit more to that system. Just like the muskie, they have six receptors on their snout. Well, muskie has seven of them. Northern Pike would think that that weird ass vibrating piece of plastic is an easy meal. Like I said, some of us think it's complete horseshit, while others think it's a good functional tool. Where do you believe it or not, the Rapala twitching web doesn't have a rattle system, while the Zilla glider is one hell of a noisemaker. But there are more differences. Let's take a closer look to both of the specifications and compare both of these gliders. The Zilla glider from Berkeley is one good looking lure, man. It kinda looks pissed, like it's aware that it will kick some pike's ass. The Zilla has an overall length of 16 cm or 6 inch if you like. 68 grams or 2.4 ounce in weight and it has two big ass size 1 treble hooks. Inside this glider, you will find some sort of a weight ramp system to let you cast this lure even further. What the fuck? Is that even necessary? That thing has the weight of a fucking brick. Why in God's name, whatever that might be, do I need that bullshit system for? Anyway, the Zilla glider is not that special in design. It looks like any other modern glider jerkbait to me. Straight from uh, Finland, apparently, is the Rapala twitching wrap. Did you know this glider is made out of wood? Wood might be the worst material to work with, but it's perfect for glider jerkbaits. I assume they are solid wood, since there is nothing stupid in build other than the weight system. The Rapala twitching wrap has an overall length of 12 cm or 5 inch, which makes this one significantly smaller than the Zilla glider. It weighs 51 grams or 1.8 ounce. The treble hooks are a size 1, which is huge since the lure is not even that big. It's like buying an extra extra large condom while your dick needs a smaller size. Hey, I'm not judging. The fact that this is a legit classic glider is kind of a cool thing. No weird inbuilt system, which makes no fucking sense anyway, just the glider itself. Let's see how these hold up and fish with them. I'm back at the pond and I'm going to use this beauty. An orange belly on the lure always gives me a positive vibe. I'm jerking and jerking like a pervert on speed until the lure became weightless all of a sudden. What the hell's going on? Well, it's this very ambitious tiny little rascal that took the Rapala twitching wrap as one hell of a meal. Jeez, this tiny snot rocket had the munchies, man. Holy moly. I wanted to try this weird ass collar just to see what I can catch in this one. Yeah, it's a weird collar, but apparently it works. A tiny little snot rocket, but you know, I'm happy. Look at the little thing. Oh yeah, these are feisty fuckers, man. I love it. All right. Thank you for showing up, buddy. There you go. Man, he's pissed. This time, I just had to use the roach collar. I'm glad I did, because another small feisty toothy torpedo took this one like he didn't eat for a while. <clears throat> Too bad for this pike, he bit in a piece of balsa wood instead. The pike might be small, but they are absolutely gorgeous. Dennis, my regular fishing buddy, is using the Rapalas as well. And not without success. Man, this pike is dancing with that lure, man. This one is wild. Dennis also likes to use treble hooks with the barbs removed. The unhooking process is so much easier. I mean, look at this. 
No pliers needed, man. Believe it or not, in exactly the same water, Dennis his fourth cast, another small pike thought to act like a tough guy. This one is even smaller, but still, it's a result. Wow, this glider is such a smooth lure, it's almost scary man. It glides perfectly without too much effort. It's like taking the perfect shit after eating a huge barbecue dinner. You know, when you feel the poop pressing against your pelvic bone, the feeling that you really have to go. The turd glides out of your ass like it has been greased with Vaseline and slowly slides down the toilet bowl and... Okay, you've got the idea, I just can't find many complaints with this one. It casts perfectly and it feels like I have total control over it. The flank is sufficient, but not too much. The size of the lure is perfect and the weight of it is not that crazy. The only complaints I have lies in the hardware. A lure this size do not need ship anchors for treble hooks. These damn things are lethal as hell and totally insane compared to its size. The suspension time is long and it's a real slow sinker. The Rapala Twitch Wrap is in perfect balance. The Berkeley Silla glider kinda surprised me. With all seriousness, this glider is absolutely incredible. Personally, I like glider jerks that are more classic. No bullshit in built systems like the weight ramp system, which is completely unnecessary. Just a glider would be sufficient. The Silla glider has all kinds of weird crap in built, but somehow it works like a charm. Is it the best glider I have ever used? No, but they are very close. The fact that it comes in a smaller version is absolutely awesome. These might be small, but they really are effective. So let's say that size doesn't matter. The Zilla's flank is nothing special, it's more like subtle. And that's where its true charm lies. The treble hooks on the large version are good, sharp and the correct size. The Zilla is an amazing glider jerk bait for beginners as well. Even an ape can use these without too much effort. The Zilla also comes in many fun colors to choose from and I just can't find anything really bad for this lure. I give the Zilla glider an 8.5 out of 10. The Rapala Twitching Wrap is another gem. What can I say? This glider is amazing. The charm in this one is all about simplicity. The Rapala Twitching Wrap is very well in balance and the action of this one is close to perfect. The Rapala Twitching Wrap might be really good in its action, but it has its flaws. The treble hooks are ridiculous compared to the size of the lure. It's like a dwarf wielding a big ass fucking chainsaw. It's just insane. The size of the lure is actually perfect as it is. Not too big and certainly not too small. The treble hooks are from very decent quality though. Just like the treble hooks from the Zilla glider, the treble hooks have a giant barb on them. I hate those damn things, so I flatten them with pliers to keep the fish tidy. And the unhooking process will be insanely easy. The Rapala Twitching Wrap has less colors to choose from compared to its opponent. I would love to see a bit more variety in the color scheme. I give the Rapala Twitching Wrap an 8 out of 10. Well, that's it for now. I would love to hear suggestions. Which lures do I need to discuss? Or are there any lures out there that just need to be burned to hell? Well, that's why there is a comment section below. Or you can find me on Instagram or Facebook and leave a suggestion there. I hope to see you next time.